Today in this video we will learn how to do the connections of temperature controller. To explain you the connections I am using one temperature controller of select company. But after watching this video you can do the connections of temperature controller of any company because in this video I will tell you the logic through which you can do the connections of temperature controller. So please watch this video carefully till the last. This temperature controller I have now to turn on this temperature controller we have to provide auxiliary power supply. To provide auxiliary power supply I am using a MCB here. This MCB here we have to connect this MCB through phase supply and neutral supply. Here we have phase supply and neutral supply. From here connect a wire and to this MCB connect these wires. So we provided input power supply. In this temperature controller at one number and two number terminal we have to provide auxiliary power supply. Friends if you are using temperature controller of any other company then inside the manual you must first see which terminals are there to provide auxiliary power supply. Only after providing auxiliary power supply display of temperature controller will turn on. What we will do here connect phase supply from here and to this one number terminal connect this phase supply. In this temperature controller one number terminal is of phase supply. Now connect neutral power supply from here and to the two number terminal connect this neutral supply. To this temperature controller we provided the power supply. Now friends to this temperature controller we will give input command. I mean to operate this temperature controller it needs command. To provide input command we will use sensor here. So first of all I am using RTD. RTD which we use in this two wire three wires or even four wires are there. In this RTD why two wires three wires or four wires are there let's understand. Friends this RTD we use it totally works on resistance. It means in this RTD there is a sensor this portion. This depends totally on resistance. It depends on resistance in the way that how much temperature RTD will show. Like in one of my video I told you that PT100 sensor we use if temperature is 0 degree Celsius I mean if we keep it in 0 degree Celsius then on the wire if we measure the resistance then we will get the resistance as 100 ohm there. Now friends see the resistance which is showing here is of sensor. The wire which is used here must also have resistance. Because of the resistance of wire sensor can't show the actual value because some difference will come in the actual value. To take actual value here I mean to reduce the resistance of wire in some RTD three wires are connected. Like in this picture you can see in this RTD with the positive wire one more wire is connected. Benefit of connecting one more wire is resistance of wire will be reduced which results in getting a better value. I mean more accurate value we get. On further modification with the RTD four wires are connected. One more wire with positive and one more wire with negative is connected. In total there are four wires. Here resistance of wire is more reduced which results in displaying accurate or exact value of RTD in temperature controller. So here the wires are there to reduce the resistance. I mean the wires which are used for connection to reduce the resistance of these wires two wires three wires and four wires are connected. Friends this RTD I am using here in this there are total three wires one red wire and two black wires. Red wire is for positive these two black wires are for negative. It means with negative two wires are connected and taken out. Friends here if you want to connect with temperature controller then first look at the wiring diagram. I mean at which terminal which wire need to be connected. You have to go through diagram because in different temperature controller different terminals are there for connection. Here you have to see in this temperature controller which one is positive terminal. I mean where to connect the positive wire of sensor. So this temperature controller I have now in this temperature controller at 10 number terminal we have to connect positive wire here. So from here connect a wire and connect other end of wire with 10 number terminal. Now in this temperature controller at 11 and 12 number terminal we have to connect negative wire of sensor here. So take one negative wire and connect with 11 number terminal and connect another one at 12 number terminal. We did the connections of this temperature controller with RTD. Friends if you have RTD containing two wires then how to do the connections let's understand this also. Here in your RTD if there are two wires then one wire will be connected with positive and one is connected with negative. Be careful about the polarity here. Connect positive wire with positive terminal and negative wire at negative terminal. After this if you have thermocouple and you want this with temperature controller 
then you have to do the same thing. In this condition, what you have to do, this thermocouple you have, connect one wire from this and connect this positive wire with positive terminal. Similarly, connect negative wire with negative terminal. Friends, in the wiring diagram of temperature controller you have, it is also written there that where to connect thermocouple. So by referring diagram also, you can connect thermocouple. Also keep one more thing in mind that if you connect thermocouple with temperature controller, then going into setting also, I mean by going into setting of temperature controller, you have to select that you did the connection with thermocouple. Then only your temperature controller will show accurate values. Friends, the temperature controller we have, we provided input power supply to this. Now from here, we have to take output power supply. Inside this temperature controller, a relay is present. In that relay, you will find three terminals. One common terminal, one NO terminal and one NC terminal. What we will do here, through the output command, we will connect the lamp. We will use two lamps here, so that we can clear NONC concept. Look friends, this bulb here, to provide power supply to this bulb, we will use phase supply and neutral supply. The phase supply we have, connect this from here and in this temperature controller, at the common terminal, we will connect this supply. This 9 number terminal is our common terminal. Friends, if you want that, the auxiliary power supply which is used here, through which you want to glow this bulb, then loop a wire from here and provide power supply to this common terminal. But in this connection, I am showing you the power supply connection separately and showing you diagram. Now friends, we need to take output power supply. To take output power supply, what we will do, with NC contact, connect one wire and to this red bulb, provide phase supply. With NO contact, connect a wire and connect other end with green lamp. Friends, first understand the concept here. Suppose in our temperature controller, we programmed 50 degrees Celsius. Where this RTD is kept, temperature there is 50 degrees Celsius. Now in this condition, this red bulb will glow because it is connected with NC contact. What happen is power supply directly flows from here to this bulb. So this lamp will glow. Now if temperature goes down, when temperature goes below 50 degrees Celsius, then this sensor here will sense after sensing it, gives command to this temperature controller. Now what this temperature controller will do, it will pick up the relay connected inside. What happen when it pick up relay, NO contact will become NC and NC contact will become NO contact. When NO contact becomes NC, power supply of here will flow from here. And this green indication lamp starts glowing. This red indication lamp will go off. So here you understood the concept of NO and NC contact. To these lamps, we also need to provide neutral power supply. To provide neutral power supply, we connect a wire from here and to these lamp provide neutral power supply. Friends, here I connected two lamps to show you as an example. If you want that, heavy load is to be connected and through temperature controller, it must be turned on and off. Then in this condition, you can use contactor here. You don't have to do anything for connection of contactor. This phase wire here, Take this phase wire and connect with A1 terminal of contactor. The work of turning on and off contactor will be done by temperature controller. When temperature goes low, contactor turns on. When temperature is maintained, contactor turns off. Now through this contactor, what we can do, we can turn on and off any heavy load. Friends, you must have understood how through output command any lamp is connected and how a contactor is connected. Now friends, here you will find two more terminals. Like here you can see these two terminals. These two terminals are SSR terminals. That is terminals for solid state relay. This solid state relay is a type of contactor only or you can say as relay also. It needs very low voltage to be turned on and off. Like you seen in a contactor, to turn on contactor, we give 230 volt or 415 volt to get operated. Similarly to turn on this relay, only 3 to 32 volt power supply is required. As you can see, range given is 3 to 32 volt DC. It means if we provide 3 to 32 volt to this terminal, I mean at 3 and 4 number terminals, then this relay will pick up. And the contact here, the contact here is NO contact. This NO contact will become NC. So this solid state relay here will be used to turn on a heater. We will turn on and off this heater through this solid state relay. So the solid state relay we have to do connections of this, this SSR 
I mean solid state relay terminals need to be used. Now look at the manual of the temperature controller that which terminals are SSR terminals. So here the SSR terminals we have 16 and 17 number terminals. On these terminals how solid state relay is going to be connected. Let's understand. Friends with this positive terminal connect one wire. Take this wire and to this solid state relay at the positive terminal connect the wire with this terminal. So here the 16 number terminal we have is for positive and 3 number terminal of solid state relay is also positive. So we connect it like this. This 17 number terminal here, negative terminal, connect a wire from here and to this SSR here, I mean solid state relay, at negative terminal connect this wire. So to this solid state relay we provided input power supply. Now to this heater we have, we have to provide phase supply and neutral supply to this heater. We will control the phase supply here. From this phase supply here connect a wire and the auxiliary contact here I mean auxiliary contact of this SSR with this we will connect phase supply. Friends always remember one thing these two terminals are NO contact. When relay turns on or get pick up in this condition only this NO contact will become NC. At one terminal of NO contact we provided input power supply. Connect one wire from output and to this heater provide phase supply. So we given phase supply to heater. Connect neutral power supply directly with this heater. So here the SSR that is solid state relay is connected and connection of heater is also done. Friends I hope you like this video. If you like this video give like share and comment on my video. If you didn't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.